everybody, this is Robert here, back with another video. This is my second attempt at uh, uh, showing you how to do a countdown video using the popular, the not so popular, video pad. So, so video editor. Create a new project, so do that, and start by adding files. So. So you can do any kind of animation you want. I'm going to do a couple here. And let's see. Just a couple of animations. And we're gonna get some music on here. And also, you can add stock audio as well. Um, yeah. You can add some stock sound, like something. Well, maybe you won't be able to <laughs> do add stock sound, but anyway, let's just uh, just find some songs that or audio that you and video. Have, and you can also drag and you know drag and drop as well. So and so let's put our video. And you can you add effects like to move it from the overlapping position. Crossfade, do whatever you want. So, let's do that. Next thing you need to do is we're going to overlay that with what you need which is uh, add text add so click on here though with the menu and add timer and this is where you're going to change all your settings you do a five minute timer so you don't need anything but the minute and the second so the duration change the duration to five minutes the clip duration is five minutes let's just do five minute and one second and let's get let's uh, make it bold and let's get it to a sizable now 48 and change the color to match it that's really all you need for this clip so it's already put in there for you So let's run a little bit of this. Okay, so, and then you can also add a blank slide just a blank clip, and you can use, you know, practically any color. 
I'm going to use a teal color. Add a blank, and this will happen for the last, you know, few seconds. And so you could just look at the clip, you know, just some fancy shapes going crazy. And you may want to add one more. And I'm going to use the red color. And that will be the last clip you'll need. So that's about how much you will need. So let's put your put the audio files. I have only got one audio file right now, but what I can do is look at my music file. Let's see if I can find some other audio files. I believe you can also use the YouTube audio library. To kind of act as fill. As well from YouTube Audio Library. And just make sure it goes uh, along with the clip. And the sound volume you don't need to change at all. So let's see what it does. <laughs> Let's go to the end. And this one, you the last one you want to do a fade out for sure. So fade out. You know. In fact, I may want to cut. I may not want to do this. Okay. So this is the editing part. Let me use the other one. this fades out. Also this will need to for, for every audio track make sure you have it fade out. And then all you need to do is export the video and just export it. Now export it at 1080p and just use um, WMB really. So let's change this to the drive and I'm gonna say tutorial five minute. Something like that. And it's gonna export it for you. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the recording for now and I will see you when it's done. Okay, welcome back. The video is done, as you can see here. Now, so the video is done. So where you can get the software is this website right here. It's nchsoftware.com. 
slash video pad slash KB slash free. And you just download it from right here. This is the free version right here. The other one may be a paid version, so be careful with that. They will give you a free trial, even with the paid version. But it's available for non commercial use only. So the free version's right here, and you just click on it, save file, and all that stuff. Well, let me show it to you in the folder right there and you can just play it on any there you go that's all I have for today and have a great day and talk to you soon and talk to you in the next video bye